Kamala Harris selects Tim Walls as VP running mate. Thai court dissolves progressive move forward party. Bluey, coins worth $400,000 stolen. BTS member fined for using kickboard while drunk. Yemen floods displaces hundreds. China will have nearly twice the pets than children by 2030. Hello, I'm Johnny. Thank you for joining us on Funny News. It's Friday, August 9th, and here are your top stories. Vice President Kamala Harris has chosen Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as her running mate, aiming to strengthen the Democratic ticket in Midwestern states, a critical region in presidential politics that often serves as a buffer for Democrats seeking the White House. With both major party tickets now decided, the campaign is set to play out as a 90-day sprint, with the Rust Belt and the Sun Belt as prime battlegrounds. Both the Harris Bowls and Trump Vance campaigns will be on the trail in key states, Michigan and Wisconsin, on Wednesday for their respective battleground state tours. Walls, a former U.S. House member from South Central Minnesota, is appearing with Harris in Eau Claire, a key target for the Democratic ticket just over 80 miles from his home in St. Paul. President Joe Biden won the county by 11 percentage points, more than 6,000 votes, in 2020, carrying the state by fewer than 21,000 votes. Walls's place on the ticket is expected to boost support in other western Wisconsin counties, such as La Crosse, another reliably Democratic county bordering Minnesota. Harris is leaning into the theme of her campaign, freedom, and during the outdoor event in Eau Claire, she was especially emphatic, calling for freedom to love who you love openly with pride. A court in Thailand on Wednesday ordered the dissolution of the Progressive Move Forward Party, which finished first in last year's general election, saying it violated the Constitution by proposing an amendment to a law against defaming the country's royal family. The Constitutional Court said it voted unanimously to dissolve the party because its campaign proposal to amend the law amounted to an attempt to overthrow the nation's constitutional monarchy. The Move Forward Party was unable to form a government after topping the polls because members of the Senate refused to endorse as candidate for prime minister. The election commission had filed a petition against the party after the constitutional court ruled in January that it must stop advocating changes to the law, known as Article 112, which protects the monarchy from criticism with penalties of up to 15 years in jail per offense. Move Forward has insisted that it wants to keep the monarchy above politics and not be exploited as a political tool. The court on Wednesday also imposed a 10-year ban on political activity for those who held the party's executive positions while it campaigned for the proposed amendment. Former leader Peter Limjaro and Rat said although he had to say goodbye as a politician, he looks forward to continuing his work as an active citizen. An Australian man was said to appear in court on Wednesday after being arrested and accused of stealing more than $393,000 worth of commemorative coins linked to the popular children's television show Bluey. He is accused of stealing 64,000 unreleased limited edition one Australian dollar coins from a warehouse in the Sydney suburb of Weatherwell Park in June. Bluey is one of last year's most streamed television shows in the United States. The Australian animated show targeted at children is widely loved by adults and was the 14th highest rated show of all time. The coins, produced by the Australian Mint, resemble one Australian dollar coins and are legal tender. Police say they are being sold online for 10 times their face value. A similar run of special commemorative coins sells for 20 Australian dollars each on the Mint's website. One eBay seller was charging almost 600 Australian dollars for a pack of three. Detective Superintendent Joseph Duehi told reporters, the theft of these coins has deprived many young children and members of the community from having access to them, so we're doing our absolute best to try to recover the coins and put them back into circulation. Police say the man worked at the warehouse and stole the coins, which weighed about 1,100 pounds, from the back of a truck before selling them online within hours. Suga, a member of K-pop sensation BTS, apologized Wednesday for driving an electric vehicle while intoxicated. He was driving an electric kit board Tuesday night when he fell while parking it. 
A police officer spotted him and administered a breathalyzer test, which Suga failed, leading to his license being revoked and a fine. An electric kickboard typically refers to a type of vehicle without a seat. However, police told local media that Suga's vehicle had a seat and resembled an electric scooter under traffic law. The type of vehicle affects the penalty for drunk driving. Yangsan Police Station in Seoul reportedly booked him for violating the Road Traffic Act. It's currently unclear whether the police have begun the investigation process. The K-pop star is swayed on apology on Weavers, saying he was driving after consuming alcohol at dinner. Suga wrote, I come to you with a very heavy heart and deep apologies for disappointing you with this regrettable incident. I thought complacently that it was a short distance, not realizing I was not allowed to ride the electric scooter while intoxicated, breaking the Road Traffic Act. Suga has been doing this mandatory military service as a social service agent since September 2023. They typically work regular hours and are allowed to return home after work. A Yemeni official said Wednesday that 30 people have been killed and hundreds displaced in flooding in the southern city of Hodeidah following several days of heavy rains. The floods displaced people from 500 homes, and five people are currently missing. Hodeidah, the southwestern city of Taiz, and the northwestern city of Haja were all hit hard by floods this week during Yemen's ongoing seasonal rainfall, which caused flooding that swept away poorly built homes. Authorities have not announced a confirmed overall death toll or provided the total number of people injured or missing. Yemen's rainy season begins in late March, with rains intensifying from July through mid-August. The UN's humanitarian office in Yemen said that Friday's floods in the Makubna district of Taiz City killed 15 people, cleared agricultural lands, and damaged homes and infrastructure. Further severe weather is expected to hit the western port city of Hodeida later on Wednesday. Some residents have reportedly been stranded inside their homes in the Al Mansiraya district since Tuesday night due to blocked roadways. Local authorities still haven't reached the areas severely affected by the floods for two days, leaving some residents trapped inside their homes. China's pet population will be nearly double that of its young children by 2030, as young Chinese remain unwilling to start new families. According to Goldman Sachs research, citing data from the National Bureau of Statistics, the country's urban pet population is set to exceed 70 million by the end of the decade, while the number of children aged 4 and under will dwindle to less than 40 million. In 2017, the situation was the opposite. There were 90 million children aged 4 and under, compared with an urban pet population of around 40 million. New births in the country are projected to fall at an average rate of 4.2 percent until 2030, driven largely by a decline in the population of women aged 20 to 35 and a younger generation that is less inclined to have children. Those between the ages of 23 and 33 made up almost half of the pet owners in China as of 2023. As young Chinese adults opt for pets over children, the bank expects the country's pet food market to grow into a $12 billion industry by 2030. Birth rates are falling globally as women choose to have fewer children, with some of the largest countries facing declining birth rates while the global population is on course to peak this century. China's population fell for a second consecutive year in 2023 to 1.41 billion people, decreasing by 2.08 million from the previous year. The answer for yesterday was D, coating. They added a weather-resistant coating to the roof. Did you answer correctly? Now let's delve into the news of China will have nearly twice the pets than children by 2030. Number one, dwindle. 逐漸減少,變小,縮小. Support for the party has dwindled away to nothing. Number two, course. 進展進程. The unexpected course of events aroused considerable alarm. Number three, inclined. I'm inclined to think that the ancient Greeks understood this better than we do. Next, we have a multiple choice question for everyone to practice. Which answer would you choose? You can write your answer in the comment section. The correct answer will be announced next week. And that's all for today's Funday News. Be sure to tune in to Funday News from Monday to Friday and click the link below to join Funday for free. I'm Johnny Wu, your host. I'll see you next time.